Hello friends, this is Durga again from ITVersity slash Technology Mentor. In this uh, video, we, I will be covering very important concept called Parallel FSH. It is typical that we need to perform same task in uh, tens to hundreds of servers in uh, production environment. And one of the tool we can actually leverage is uh, Parallel FSH. Parallel FSH is the tool provided by Google and uh, it's pretty easy to set up and I will show you how to do that in this video. So uh, yeah, for, uh, to demonstrate this, I am actually using uh, AWS, which are actually, uh, I'm planning to set up uh, Hadoop cluster on that. And uh, uh, in this case, I have six instances. I'll be starting uh, all six, just to, to show you that uh, I can copy to, uh, I can perform a step, instead of doing all six, let me just choose two for now. This is already started, I am starting other one too. Yeah, I am just using two so that I can uh, successfully validate that uh, uh, parallel SSH is running in my setup. The same concept, you can uh, uh, set it up anywhere. You can set up on your PC also using Sigwin to connect to uh, any of the Linux hosts in parallel uh, from your uh, Windows system itself. It can be set up in uh, 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 Linux terminal or Mac terminal. Uh, so anywhere, uh, uh, any terminal of Unix Linux flavor uh, or simulators like Sigwin also will support this. So let's go ahead and uh, set it up. So first thing you have to do is uh, you can go to google.com and uh, you can actually, what happened, google.com and you can search for parallel SSH, okay, and uh, you can open this link, let me zoom in a little bit. So this is the command which you need to run uh, to actually clone it onto your uh, Sigwin or uh, Linux terminals on uh, any of the servers or PCs. So in my case, I am using, uh, 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 I am actually setting it up on my, uh, one of the hosts in uh, AWS itself, uh, because uh, uh, in AWS, I have one, pub, uh, one host which is using public IP and all others are private IPs. So setting up on this one will facilitate me to uh, to run parallel SSH on one uh, on one instance to execute parallelly on all the other instances. So parallel SSH will be set up on master zero one, uh, and we will be running a script uh, to uh, to execute on all the uh, all the EC two instances, master zero three, master zero uh, two, ma slave zero one, slave zero two, slave zero three. Uh, uh, and I will demonstrate uh, it now. So let's let's copy this command git clone. And uh, in this case, EC2 user uh, does not have certain permissions. So I will be using uh, sudo. EC2 user is a sudoer, so he can sudo to root also. So I will be running this command as sudo. And uh, paste that command. And uh, there is no git in this, so I need to install as it is uh, uh, having the public uh, uh, DNS, um, it can, uh, which is static IP. It can connect to the internet and uh, download the, the git from public repositories when we run this command called sudo m-y install git. And it will be done in a moment. So now uh, git is installed. I can hit up the arrow to go to the sudo git clone co command which failed earlier and hit enter. And uh, uh, the parallel SSH tool uh, which is uh, just few KB will be downloaded within few seconds and it will be downloaded wherever we ran the git clone command. So uh, in, in the enterprises you have to determine the uh, appropriate location but for demonstration purpose I am just using home directory of uh, EC2 user. So now you have parallel SSH. Now I have to export this. And uh, either I can uh, export it here by running export command. Uh, but it will, uh, when the server is rebooted, uh, if you have to run parallel SSH commands like PSSH, 
I think uh, let me do let me do this let me exit it and then log in back again <coughs> so I logged in and now if I run the PSSH command it will not work because the export uh, is not permanent so either you can run export command uh, like this and then you can uh, validate whether the PSH command is running or not and uh, as we logged out of the session and when, and when we log in this export is not preserved so to preserve it we have to save this into a dot bash rc file so let me copy this dot bash rc and here I can define alias so now you no need to worry about uh, this one and the path which you have to set uh, not only for parallel SSH for any tool is uh, uh, the bin directory of the tool so if you go to uh, parallel SSH there are plenty of other directories also but we always should point to bin because we will be using commands that are in bin so if you look at bin uh, there is a pssh command and pscp command these are, these are the two things which we typically use and i'm not sure about the other commands but i will be demonstrating using uh, pssh and pscp so i am going to my home directory again by just typing cd and hitting enter and uh, now i can validate pssh command uh, it's it's not working because the com command is not complete but it's uh, uh, the effort of an, uh, setting up environment variable is successful so now uh, to to actually run pssh you have to have two things one is the script or command which you want to run and the names of the hosts so either you can pass the names of the hosts uh, as comma separated or you can create a, 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 a file which will have all the host names so in this case let me create a, a file cluster underscore host dot txt and let me enter two IPs one is the current one ec2 dot internal um, from which we are running this uh, if you don't want to uh, run this uh, command or script um, on this one you can uh, delete it so if you want to set up on this host as well then you have to uh, include and the other host which we want to validate on is sorry yeah correct it's 0 minus 12 dot ec2 dot internal okay now we have these two hosts in a text file let us validate that our host names are correct uh, so we have to check the ip addresses yeah it's uh, sorry so this is 12 we have used 11 and 12 so master 01 is uh, 11 where is the private IP yeah here and uh, master 02 is 12 so we'll be uh, testing on those two whether parallel SSH is working or not so now you have the host file now you have to run the command so let me type it it's a long command it will look like this pssh uh, blah 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 this is the command uh, which I will be running uh, it is pssh minus v minus t so this is just syntax i am not 100 percent sure and uh, uh, it, it ran successfully accidentally i hit enter and it, it ran successfully and if you see minus v and minus t is just syntax i don't know what is the purpose of zero and then you can set up uh, use minus l and root uh, whatever user you want to connect uh, here i am trying to connect uh, uh, as root and then minus h to pass the uh, host file so in our case the host file is cluster underscore host okay i think there is some issue with this lsltr root sudo ls minus ltr yeah we should not use root actually we we have to use easy to user 
so the command is not correct so let me explain the command so you, uh, you can only use the user uh, which you want uh, which you can connect to okay and here the username is uh, ec2 user and minus shoot ec2 minus user and minus h we have to pass uh, the file which have the hosts and then minus x is to execute the command and in the double quote you have to give rest of the stuff so minus t minus t is to enable tty so that uh, if you have any commands which have sudo uh, uh, which request sudo access uh, this command will not fail and then you have to do minus o strict host key checking uh, equal to no because uh, uh, when you are trying to connect for the first time it will actually check whether the uh, host key is already there uh, or not and uh, it can cause issues when you are trying to run parallel ssh uh, in case you are running uh, for the first time on some of the servers to overcome that you need to pass this minus o strict host key checking equal to no and then at the end uh, in the single quote you can actually issue the command in this case i am trying to run a simple command called uh, uh, touch testing in single quote and hit enter and uh, it, it will just take a moment and you can run ls minus ldl command and now you can see that testing uh, 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 the file is there now you can actually do ssh to other instance also just to validate ec2 internal Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can run ls minus ldl command here, and you can see the testing uh, script just created. Okay. That being said, uh, this is how you can set up the parallel SSH. It has uh, not only a pssh command where you can actually pass, uh, uh, where you can execute uh, one command on all the servers. It also have the capability of uh, running a script, and uh, it also have the uh, command called pstp to copy a file parallelly on all the hosts so that being said uh, this is it about setting up parallel ssh and this concept is applicable uh, wherever you have to run a particular uh, command or script on uh, multiple hosts uh, uh, and uh, by using a p uh, parallel ssh from google you can take care of it very effectively I hope you are enjoying the uh, co content of my channel so far. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you want to like the video, if you like the video, please like, uh, click on the like, and if you want to post a comment, uh, feel free to do so. Thank you. Bye.